Hey guys, last year 2018 I was on the Innovation Day of SEPA Europe, our Pest Management European Association. The day was hosted in the European Commission in Brussels and everybody was there uh, from the international pest management world and spoke with EU commissioners. And I want to show you a speech that I found really, really interesting and valuable to our complete pest management hygiene and food sector, which is by no other person but our president of our SEPA organization association, Henry Mott. Henry is from the UK, he also owns a pest control business and he's president of SEPA and within his speech he outlines perfectly the future of pest management, he inspires people to do it differently and there is a lot of hope in there and a lot of uh, positive prospects which we can all learn from. I hope you can too so enjoy his speech which I filmed with my iPhone so sorry for the lack of quality there but you're still gonna love the content. If you like it, share it, put some comments uh, uh, below the video or like it. Thank you very much and enjoy Henry's speech. Base techniques in all of the way we operate. Data collection to be spoken about many times today. That's an integral part, I believe, in, in the advancement we need to make as an industry. The F friendly. We need to be sustainable and environmentally friendly in all of our actions. And finally, the E. Well, the E for me stands for economic. However we operate and whatever we do, we need to bear in mind that there comes a cost and that cost needs to be in line with the people that are paying for the service. It might be easy to say we can solve all the pest problems by building a giant glass bubble over our cities, but that frankly is not practicable and uh, nobody's going to pay for it. So we need to be bearing in mind economic pressures as well. So that's the World Health Organization, Healthy City, and um, my take on it. The EU doesn't actually have a healthy city. Uh, policy. It has an EU urban agenda. Um, the agenda actually currently doesn't include health. I think we can actually put up a slide of what the, uh, what the EU uh, urban agenda is. We can all see that there. So that, there are the key areas that currently um, the EU looks at with its urban agenda. Sustainable land use, climate adaption, circular economy, inclusion of migrants and refugees, all good stuff, yeah? nobody can argue with that, but it doesn't include health. Pest management services and health, they're missing from the core priorities. But nonetheless, where pest management can and does contribute is around climate adapt adaptation. But I don't think this is sufficient though, given the big impact that pest management can have on a healthy city. As I alluded to earlier, a healthy city is a safe city, and I think health should feature in that. The urban agenda for the EU addresses problems facing cities by setting up partnerships between the Commission, the EU organisation, national governments, local authorities and stakeholders such as non-governmental organisations. Together they develop action plans to pass better laws, improve funding programmes, we've heard about that earlier, share knowledge and data studies and good practice. I believe we, the pest management industry, can add real benefit to that agenda. When we talk about pest management and how best to, and how best to implement it, um, right from my first days back as a pest controller in the early 1990s, I was taught a, a three-letter anacronym. Pest management is often defined as exclusion, preventing pests from entering our environment in the first instance, it's clearly the most effective, and exclusion is obviously number one. But we've already spoken today about how climate change has affected. Our climate used to exclude a lot of pests, but now that climate is changing, pests are moving in. Restriction. Restriction is about removing the resources that pests need to survive. Pests all need food, they need water, and they need harborage, they need somewhere to live. If we can remove those resources, restricting them, we can control pests more effectively. The final part of that three-letter acronym was destruction. Destruction can be defined as the action of physically removing pests from the environment through either non-chemical or chemical methods, ERD. I think all of you in the pest management industry will be familiar with that or something similar. But there's one important addition missing from this acronym, the most important in any professional pest management program, and that is partnership. 
Without a strong partnership between the client and the professional pest manager, you can forget the E, you can forget the R. Inevitably, we will end up relying on the D. Let us be clear, professional pest management, the good pest manager, is not at all about destruction. It is about prevention first. Partnerships between professional pest managers and their clients generally already exist on a micro level. I'm not talking here about contractual arrangements as such, but almost an unwritten rule or an understanding that clients will accept advice from their pest management company when it is conducive to obtaining or maintaining a pest-free environment. Often simple advice, seal a hole, tidy up the bin area, don't leave food overnight. It's all that's needed to resolve a lot of pest issues. Unfortunately, advice on a micro level is not always necessarily the answer because pest issues commonly exist on a macro level within the urban environment. Take a street, a typical street in any city. You will have the following. Numerous food outlets, restaurants, coffee shops, sandwich bars, cinemas, supermarkets, retail units, banks, offices, apartments, shopping complexes, maybe even a hospital. Each one of the buildings is almost certainly linked to the next one, both physically attached and through communal networks, such as power lines, drains, fiber optic cables, water pipes, shared roof spaces, shared bin areas, shared basements, and so on. When a pest finds its way into one area of a building, it's not just that building that is affected, it potentially affects the whole street and beyond. Understanding how best to deal with a problem in one building is often about understanding how to tackle that problem on a macro level. We need, as an industry, to work at bridging that gap between de dealing with micro issues and undertaking to solve the macro issues that are often the source of the pest issue in the first place. In essence, I believe we need to build a system of partnerships that enables the exchange of information to get to the root causes of pest issues in our cities. We believe that given the threats that readily exist and have been discussed in the two previous panels, that the time is right to create a network of partnerships between professional pest management companies and the institutions that run our great cities. Now is the time to establish these partnerships and be proactive in tackling the threats of climate change and unplanned urbanisation that are affecting our cities today. To simplify that, I've got a, I've got a slide which Anne Marie is going to rush around. She's videoing now. Click on there, hopefully. How are we doing so far? Engaged? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so a really simple, virtuous circle. So at the top here, we have a safe city. I alluded to what I think a safe city is all about earlier in my speech. The safe city links to EN 16636, CEPA certified. For those that aren't aware, the EN 16636 standard was created via CEPA with SEM. And what, CEPA, and what that standard is, in essence, is a standard of best practice for pest management. The CEPA certified is where we as an organisation have appointed certifying bodies to audit those companies to that standard. So we can be certain that the companies that are operating to that standard are being independently audited and therefore by definition you can rely on them to be delivering quality service. We're working on employing a minimum training standard within that, within, within that standard, standard within a standard. Um, which uh, our working group is presently involved in. 
This again reinforces to the end user that they're using companies that are quality and um, uh, both, both can demonstrate quality and independently audited. And part of that is the sharing of data. We believe that companies that are signed up within this structure should be sharing data amongst themselves in order to best deliver pest management services within the environment. This is where we now move to the final part, which is the partnership and the MOU, or Memorandum of Understanding. What we're looking for from the EU in general. We're looking for you to partner with companies, EM16636 certified companies in your cities in order to deliver pest management services more effectively <coughs> and more sustainably in many cases. In the middle of this, you've got the good pest manager, which is what we're all about. That effectively is us. Uh, and then linking round back to safe cities. So our proposal really is what we would love to do and what I would love to see is uh, maybe pilot projects that we could actually engage with in, in cities where we can actually employ certified companies and work with liaison with the city authorities to try and develop this exchange of information.